Welcome back to the Big Sunday Show. Outrage is building over Biden swapping WNBA star Brittany Griner for Russia's merchant of death, Victor Bout, and especially over NBC News issuing a correction to its reporting about it. First, NBC News reported that, quote, the Kremlin gave the White House the choice of either Griner or Marine Paul Whelan, who has been in Russia's custody for years. Later, the article was edited to read that the choice was, quote, Griner or no one. White House responding to NBC changing its story this morning on Fox News Sunday. Can you unequivocally say that there was never an option between Paul Whelan or Brittany Griner? Yes, ma'am, I can. There was never a choice posed uh, by the Russians. It was only Miss Griner for Mr. Boot. Believe me, Shannon, we did. Right up until the very end, we were making efforts to try to get both of them out. Uh, there was just no way to get there. So your reaction. Um, my, my reaction is, look, I'm glad she's home. Uh, she's an American, even though I disagree with a lot of her, her personal thoughts and approach. I, I'm glad she's home. Um, but what is going on with NBC? I mean, did NBC get it that wrong or did they get it that right? <laughs> that this right, comes on the heels. This comes on the heels of the Paul Pelosi story yep. where they go out and they release this information of, and revelations about Paul Pelosi only to then get their arm twisted, take this reporter off the air. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me they got this story? All the checks and balances you have to go through at NBC, yeah. it really does make you wonder, did they get it right or did they get it wrong? Who's, ex who's the person who told them this? Yeah. How did they run with this story? And NBC, this is two for you in a very short proximity of time. And yeah. speaking of their coverage of it, on MSNBC yesterday, here's a Georgetown professor characterizing um, the way we're talking about Whelan and his being left behind. You gotta listen to this. Brittany Griner is a LGBTQIA black woman who is also a celebrity. So to politicize this, you're also bringing in race, you're bringing in gender, you know, you're, you're bringing in, um, uh, sexual preferences and all these things. So these are dog whistles. This idea that a Marine is, was left behind is dangerous and it can really spark a lot of pushback from people who aren't very interested yes. in, you know, finding out the actual truth. So it's intentional disinformation. So she's saying that somebody was left behind is misinformation, that it is dangerous to say that, Tommy. Yeah, it's dangerous to tell the truth, which uh, for her, maybe it, it certainly is. But what's interesting about that clip is the mental gymnastics that it took for her to get that out <laughs> was astonishing. I mean, that was an Olympic sport on its own right there, saying, listen, we shouldn't politicize this, but this woman is an LGBTQI black celebrity, so don't politicize it, though. But we needed to bring her home, but don't politicize it, though. And yes, Maureen was left behind, but I don't know why we have to talk about that, because we shouldn't be politicizing a fact because it might mislead people. Yeah. Uh, but, what is going on? Yeah. There and is that, a, and that's not even a reason why. If it was a white NBA player, it would be the same thing. You right. got a veteran who served our country honorably, who's behind enemy lines, who should be brought home. This has nothing to do with race or gender. Longer. Nothing to do with race or gender whatsoever. And then, you know, I think about this John Kirby clip. I like him personally, but I don't believe him here. We've seen multiple times where the Biden administration or Joe Biden himself have lied to our faces. He said, I'm not going to leave any Americans behind in Afghanistan. That was a lie. And he tells more and more lies. And as you said about NBC, I don't know what is going on there. I think they probably got the story truly right. They made a decision that was based on what the voting base would want. They wanted Brittany Griner, Griner back there. Right. He said he received a lot of pressure from black women. Yeah. He received a lot of pressure from black women to make this decision. Those are the ones who supported him, and that's part of the big part of the reason he's in office right now. So that is the set of facts, and that's the truth. New York Post editorial board wrote a really good piece about this, and they said, yes, getting Griner back, morally speaking, was the right thing to do, but at what cost? That this was a bad trade. It was a bad deal that the Trump administration had the opportunity to make before the Griner incident happened. Uh, to make a trade for Whelan um, and the Merchant of Death, and they declined. And Mike Pompeo talked about this, so let's listen. The Trump administration was always very clear. We weren't going to trade bad guys for celebrities because it creates the wrong incentives for the bad guys as we go forward. It's not good for American national security. It's not good for people who are traveling across the world. 
And the Post's point was that the nation looks weak, that Biden looks weak as a result of making this trade. Jason, what do you well, think? Well, it does put, I think, a lot more uh, people at risk. Yeah. When, you, when you're actually willing to, to have these types of deals, one for one, a person for a person. I heard that one of the senior people at the Drug Enforcement Agency, which apprehended this merchant of death and brought him into custody and into justice. And he said, you know, isn't it ironic that the Biden administration talks so much about gun control and talks about getting guns off our streets and then they're willing to put somebody back onto the battlefield, uh, much like what Obama did with all these people coming out of Guantanamo Bay, put them back out on the streets so that they would have more guns, more ammunition, more. I, it, it's right. Just... I mean, he's a war criminal. Yeah. Yeah. He was responsible for many deaths. That's right. A lot of chaos. And he, and he actually is now joining the fight in Ukraine. Like, that's been reported. He's going right back out on the battlefield, and he has to do something to thank Putin for releasing him. Not only that, Putin is really weak right now. Ukraine was a fight they didn't think they were going to have on their hands. So now you got somebody who can be a lieutenant in your, your warped war against good people to, to, to really push, uh, push forward your plans, and it's insane. And I want to go back to, to the discussion on this in the mainstream media, because, again, we're talking, I liked your point about it's gun control, it's safety, it's getting weapons off the streets, and that we put a weapon back on the street in right. human form. But they also, they do some more of that mental gymnastics, and they say, listen, he intended to kill Americans, but we don't know that he killed Americans, so it's okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.